Abu Ishaq Ibrahim ibn Yahya al-Nakar al zarqali also known as al zarqali or Ibn Zarqala, was a Muslim instrument maker astrologer, and one of the leading astronomers of his time. Although his name is conventionally given as al zarqali it is probable that the correct form was al zarqalu In Latin he is referred to as Azashel or Aschilis, a modified form of Azashel the shell, meaning, the engraver. He lived in Toledo, Al-Andalus before moving to Cordoba later in his life. His works inspired a generation of Islamic astronomers in Al-Andalus. The crater Azashel shell on the moon is named after him. Early life, Al-Zarqali was born in a village near the outskirts of Toledo, then the capital of the Taifa of Toledo. He was trained as a metalsmith and due to his skills he was nicknamed al nekaj the engraver of metals. His Latinized name, Azashel, is formed from the Arabic Al-Zarqali al nakash meaning, the engraver. He was particularly talented in geometry and astronomy. He is known to have taught and visited Cordoba on various occasions his extensive experience and knowledge eventually made him the foremost astronomer of his time. al Zarqali was also an inventor, and his works helped to put Toledo at the intellectual center of Al-Andalus. He is also referred to in the works of Chaucer as Aschilis. In the year 1085 Toledo was taken by the Christian king of Castile Alfonso VI. al Zarqali and his colleagues, such as al wakashi of Toledo, had to flee. It is unknown whether the aged al Zarqali fled to Cordoba or died in a Moorish refuge camp. His works influenced Ibn Bajar, Ibn Tufail, Ibn Rushdi, Ibn al kamad Ibn al Haim al Ishbili and Enuar ad-Din al Trugi. In the 12th century, Gerard of Cremona translated Al-Zarqali's works into Latin. He referred to Al-Zarqali as an astronomer and magician. Raggio Montanus wrote a book in the 15th century on the advantages of the Sahifa Al-Zarqalia. In 1530, the German scholar Jacob Ziegli wrote a commentary on one of Al-Zarqali's works. In his De Revolution of Asorbium Coalescium, in the year 1530, Nicolaus Copernicus quotes the works of Al-Zarqali and Al-Batani. Science. Instruments. Al-Zarqali wrote two works works on the construction of an instrument for computing the position of the planets using diagrams of the Ptolemaic model. These works were translated into Spanish in the 13th century by order of King Alfonso X in a section of the Libros del Sabre de Astronomia entitled, the Libros de las Laminas de los Seven Planetes. He also invented a perfected kind of astrolabe known as the Tablet of the al Zarqali, which was famous in Europe under the name Sophia. There is a record of an al Zarqali who built a water clock, capable of determining the hours of the day and night and indicating the days of the lunar months. According to a report found in al-Zuriz Kitab al jurafia his name is given as Abu al-Kashim bin Abd al-Rahman, also known as al-Zarqali, which made some historians think that this is a different person. Theory al-Zarqali corrected geographical data from Ptolemy and al khwarizmi Specifically, he corrected Ptolemy his estimate of the length of the Mediterranean Sea from 62 degrees to the correct value of 42 degrees in his treatise on the solar year, which survives only in a Hebrew translation. He was the first to demonstrate the motion of the solar apogee relative to the fixed background of the stars. He measured its rate of motion as 12.9 seconds per year, which is remarkably close to the modern calculation of 11.6 seconds. al Zarqali's model for the motion of the Sun, in which the center of the Sun's deferent moved on a small, slowly rotating circle to reproduce the observed motion of the solar apogee, was discussed in the 13th century by Bernard of Verdun and in the 15th century by 
by Regimontanus and Perbar. In the 16th century Copernicus employed this model, modified to heliocentric form, in his De Revolution of Asorbium Coelestium. Tables of Toledo. Al's Arcale also contributed to the famous Tables of Toledo, an adaptation of earlier astronomical data to the location of Toledo along with the addition of some new material. Al's Arcale was famous as well for his own book of tables. Many books of tables had been compiled, but his almanac contained tables which allowed one to find the days on which the Coptic, Roman, Lunar, and Persian months begin, other tables which give the position of planets at any given time, and still others facilitating the prediction of solar and lunar eclipses. He also compiled an almanac that directly provided the positions of the celestial bodies and need no further computation. The work provided the true daily positions of the Sun for four Julian years from 1088 to 1092, the true positions of the five Five planets every five or ten days over a period of eight years for Venus, 79 years for Mars, and so forth, as well as other related tables. His ZIJ and Almanac were translated into Latin by Gerard of Cremona in the 12th century, and contributed to the rebirth of a mathematically based astronomy in Christian Europe and were later incorporated into the tables of Toledo in the 12th century and the Alphonsine tables in the 13th century. In designing an instrument to deal with Ptolemy's complex model for the planet Mercury, in which the center of the deferent moves on a secondary epicycle, Al's Arcale noted that the path of the center of the primary epicycle is not of circle, as it is for the other planets. Instead it is approximately oval and similar to the shape of a pinion. Some writers have misinterpreted interpreted Al-Zarkali's description of an Earth-centered oval path from the center of the planet's epicycle as an anticipation of Johannes Kepler's sun-centered elliptical paths for the planets. Although this may be the first suggestion that a conic section could play a role in astronomy, Al-Zarkali did not apply the ellipse to astronomical theory and neither he nor his Iberian and Maghrebi contemporaries used an elliptical different, in their astronomical calculations, works major works and publications, 1. Alamal by Sahifa Arizona Zija, 2. Atadbir, 3. al Madkal fi ilm and Arjum, 4. Risalat fi Tariq at Istikdam as Safiha al-Mushtara Kalijamir al-Urad, 5. Almanakar Shell.